Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, another new video. And in this video, I'm going to give you 10 amazing data collection ideas for projects because I get a lot of questions around this. Kunal, we're learning about scraping, collecting data, how do we apply it? Or, I mean, uh, you know, college and, you know, in, in universities, especially in India, uh, machine learning projects are given a really high value because they often terms like show some that, like, okay, students have done some research and did some data collection or surveys or something like that. So, in this video, I'm going to share some of the best practices to collect data as well. I've done some data scraping tutorials, so you can check out the links in the description below. But hopefully, this video will be helpful and uh, you know for you to get started in your journey. Let's get started. Now, before we move forward around with the you know some of the project ideas, I just like to share how I collect data. So I use Bright Data. I've done a video on this already. It's called Web Scraping Tutorial with Amazon Example. So you can check this one out. The reason I use Bright Data is because it's pretty simple. It has like uh, ready to use databases for you and subsets of databases like for example an Amazon database if you want, right? It has proxies if you if you like to you know build your own. It's Web Unrocker, you know, so this is like uh, you can scrape any website you want because it can be a little bit difficult to scrape websites sometimes. Sometimes they block you and stuff like that. So you can get around that using uh, Bright Data's Web Unlocker tool. And uh, here you can check it out, you know, the data collection platform, you can create your own collector. And it's pretty simple because uh, it has its own like inbuilt uh, functions and uh, things that you can use. And uh, you can use these templates, you can start from scratch if you want, but you can use a template as well. Right, booking.com, um, YouTube, Airbnb, for example, which is a little bit uh, difficult to scrape, but uh, Bright Data makes it easy for folks. So you can check it out and you can use this in order to collect your data and uh, yeah, it's a pretty good tool and if you want to learn more about it you can just check out the video that i did and this video i will leave in the description below as well and uh, you can check that video out cool so let's move forward with like some of the uh, examples related to what all uh, projects you can make so idea number one can be you can make a market research tool for example so you can uh, gather information from online platforms like you know for example indeed or something or uh, Glassdoor or something like that right and you can build a tool around, uh, you know, uh, job postings and job boards and how that's going to, you know, affect uh, the the job market and the and things like that. The second one can be like, for example, e-commerce. So you can uh, go to the uh, Bright Data e-commerce section. You can uh, get some data related to Amazon or you can build your own uh, scraper, the web scraper ID. You can get information around the, you know, best selling tools and, you uh, you can compare it with the various various manufacturers who is giving the most which is the most like beloved uh, christmas gift for example that can be a nice idea that you can use and uh, you can check out uh, you know all the top selling gifts and stuff like that gift ideas and uh, the the ratings if i click on this one so you can check out the ratings so this one is a pretty popular one as you can see 14000 ratings so you can scrape data from here that's another sort of like a good uh, it's like a second uh, e-commerce stuff that you can do. You can uh, scrape like, some, for example, Flipkart and all these other things as well. Okay, the next one is you can uh, scrape uh, the third third idea can be related to social media platforms, right? So you can scrape social media platforms like LinkedIn, as you can see over here. You can scrape Twitter or Instagram and you can study the trends. I've done videos on this already, so you can check it out. You can use write data for it and uh, you can uh, scrape... Uh, you know these uh, social media platforms and uh, you can check out the trends and uh, you know what the public says about it and you know you can make something like uh, if you're using uh, if you're using um, NLP and something like that so you can make a uh, an emotion detector I think that's a pretty cool example it's very simple you know to make to making an emotional detector and uh, you can use uh, something like you know like uh, algorithms like knife base and stuff and you can check out the trending uh, trending things and uh, that should be able to help you right the next one if you're talking about it you can go to goodreads for example and you can scrape the reviews from here like you can scrape let's say some of the best quotes and then you can figure out whether this is a love quote whether this is a motivational quote whether this is a you know a funny quote or humorous quote similarly you can do it with movies right so you can um, get a movie review and then you can, you know, that spam and ham uh, is a very popular, uh, it's a very popular uh, project when you're starting out with machine learning. So you can use that and you can make like a movie review classification. So like good movie or bad movie, right? 
So that is something you can do. You give it a review, I scrape it from the website, and it will help you with that. Okay. Uh, the sixth one is also an interesting one. You can uh, I just remember it because I saw it over here. So I can go to my uh, Bright Data, let's say dashboard, and if I just go to the uh, collector again, so there you would see Cora. So using Cora, you can make like a scraping website from the uh, like from discussion groups and stuff. So if I go to collector, develop a self-managed collector, it gives you a template that you can use. Here you go, Cora. So Cora answers you can uh, search for and for you know, specific topics, and then you can uh, basically, you know, make a using some machine learning algorithms. You can uh, take those answers and you can see what are the trends that people are talking about and what the people think and and things like that. You can do. Uh, if you're talking about this, you can learn about regression and stuff, and you can do stock prices prediction, right? And uh, you can scrape data for that. Like that's a seventh. Uh, uh, seventh uh, idea that I can give you like a stock price prediction model you can create right stock price prediction project something like that okay so predicting stock price very simple stuff you can check it out over here so that's one thing you can do because obviously you need to have data for that and you can do similarly you can do house price prediction and things like that right house prices and uh, you know, prediction and uh, basically real estate stuff. So you can get data for that around real estate stuff. And uh, let's say you can get data from Airbnb or booking.com and you can check out like which type of house and which location is giving me how much amount of rent or something like that. So you can check it out. Uh, ninth idea can be something like a, um, you know, as you can see, Twitter hashtag search and Walmart search is pretty cool. Tourist attractions. So you can do this one, for example, right? A good tourist attraction that you can find, right? Uh, market research and things like that. Data for good public health. This can be a ninth, uh, ninth example. You can get data around uh, research, for example, right? Scientific or medical databases. And then you can uh, use that uh, for uh, your research and for decision making and things like that, right? Cool. Okay. One more thing is you can do if you're talking about see, real estate, it gives an example for that, right? Data as well. One thing I want to talk about is last but not least, it's just the lead generation part. So this can be in something like, uh, let's say if you talk about ad tech and, you know, verified ads and social media marketing. So this can be something like an online event that you're conducting. So for this, an example can be meetup.com. You can try scraping that. So how many groups are there and uh, what all events do people attend and how much was the attendance uh, ratio? And, you know, 13 attendees, 14 attendees, which area has the largest amount of attendees. So a project can be you just put in an area and you're like, OK, I want to conduct an event. Where should I conduct? What time do I conduct it? Is weekend good or weekdays good? So something like that you can make. Right. So you can make an online ticket system or like an event website that will give you an answer to like, OK, Kunal wants to conduct an event. And how do we do that? So you can scrape meetup.com and you can check it out, you know, how various uh, platforms are doing it. And how many various meetup groups are, how active they are over weekends or something like that. Cool. So that was basically about it. I think it's pretty cool stuff. Uh, you can check out, uh, you know, and this is not just like, they're not just 10 ideas, obviously. There's like, uh, they, it's, it depends all upon your imagination. But this is uh, some of the good ones that you can get started with. And I mentioned these because uh, like you can use Bright Data for these and for like rest of the other ideas that you may have as well. So if you have any idea around, uh, you want to scrape a website, you can use Bright Data for it. If you learn more about how to use the platform, I've done a comprehensive video on this very long one close to an hour so you can check out the links to that in the description below we're scraping amazon so you will get to understand how how that works so make sure you check out that link in the description you can watch that video learn about how to scrape data once you know that you're on the way uh, you can then create uh, as many things as you want do all sorts of things with it and if you have any questions i'm happy to answer leave those in the description below i'm sorry in the comment section below and make sure you like share, and subscribe and uh, if you use you know uh, if you use the Bright Data platform and made some amazing project, share it with me on Twitter. I'll happy to I'm happy to see it. Uh, make sure it's open source so we can look at the code sample as well. And that's pretty much about it. And thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.